What's up guys and welcome back. Today on Trent's Garage, before we get started, I'm actually making dinner the night before thanks to HelloFresh. HelloFresh is the sponsor of today's video. I'm actually making pork meatloaf parm. It is a five minute prep, a 35 minute cook, and it tells you how many calories you get. They give you like this little cheat sheet that gives you all the ingredients, all the instructions, everything is super easy to make. The food is amazing and delicious. What can I say? I love HelloFresh. HelloFresh has 40 weekly recipes that are chef crafted, customizable with seasonal ingredients and meals for all occasions, lifestyles, and preferences. Now, if you guys have been watching this channel a lot, you probably realize that I don't take instructions very well. I like to just kind of wing it, but with HelloFresh, I don't even have to worry about winging it because everything is super easy to follow, even for a guy like me. And with their convenient doorstep delivery, HelloFresh makes it easy to get dinner on the table. Everything kind of portioned out for you, really easy to do. It just takes the headache out of it and I can make something delicious for myself, my wife, and my baby, and it's done in a short amount of time. So if you guys wanna check out HelloFresh, you guys can click the link in my description or you can go to hellofresh.com and be sure to use code 50TG. The TG stands for Trent's Garage, so code 50TG to get 50% off your first box. I wanted to say thanks again to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video and helping support my channel so that I can continue to make content for you guys. What's up guys and welcome back. Today on Trent's Garage, we are gonna be working on our rear axle. I know uh, every video, it seems like we jump around. Last video, we did the uh, fuel cell or the fuel tank. We made a little bit of progress. I broke the fuel pump and uh, that's where that project's gonna sit until further notice. So today we're trying to get this crate out of the way. So we're gonna go ahead and pull our rear axle out of this crate. We've gotta cut all the brackets off. We've gotta clean up a bunch of you know, parts of the tube so we can put our brackets on there for our four link setup in the rear. We gotta put a truss on this thing. Today's gonna be a lot of cutting, a lot of grinding, a lot of welding, should be fun. So with the help of my skid steer with some forks, it made it a lot easier to pick this thing up. I did not have that when we were doing the front axle, so we had to do some really sketchy stuff. But now that this thing's out here, we can take the straps off. I can uh, go ahead and get my plasma cutter out here. We can start cutting off all these brackets. So it rained a lot last night, which is kind of rare in Utah. And uh, now it's kind of warm and sunny. So the humidity is just like so thick out here. I'm wearing this jacket and like standing over this thing cutting. I'm sweating and it's just, it's a lot. Plus my plasma torch is like doing some really weird stuff. I think I need a new like tip that goes on the outside of the gun, not like the internal tip. So the flame is kind of coming out at a little bit of an angle and it's not cutting very well and I changed all of the tips that I have. I don't have a new like nozzle, like an exterior piece. And I think that's what I need. Hopefully I can get the rest of these brackets cut off to where we can actually start working with the grinder. A lot of work ahead of us. I 
right, I've got all the brackets off this side. I've got one more bracket on that side. And then uh, the most tedious part is cleaning it all up. Success! We went ahead and cleaned off all of the brackets. We ground all the like remnants of the brackets down, used our tubing sander to try and clean this up and get all the paint off so that when we put all of our brackets on here and weld them on, we can get nice, good penetration. And we're basically ready to start welding now. However, it's starting to rain, which the theme of my life lately is that the rain is coming and it's going to ruin your day. So I'm gonna try and get the skid steer back over here. We're gonna pick this up and try and scoot it just inside the garage and set it back on the jack stands so that we can weld in there with the garage door closed and the rain's not gonna bother us. It seems like the majority of things that I've been using on this build are like not designed for this build or for the parts that I'm using them for. So it makes everything like custom and crazy and a pain in the butt and you run into all these problems. But this, however, is the truss for our rear axle. So the cool thing about this truss is that it's actually made for this axle. So it just snaps right on, it fits perfectly. All I've got to do is weld up all the joints weld up these seams up here at the top. And then this is gonna do two things for me. This is actually gonna make this axle a lot more rigid so that these axle tubes don't bend. It can kind of help prevent that if you put you know, a lot of crazy forces on them. Sometimes you can bend axle tubes. So it does help reinforce this whole zone here, but it also gives you a nice flat spot up here where you can mount your two hangers for your four link. So you could do double triangulated four link and you get a nice flat spot up here to weld your hangers on. are probably saying to yourselves, Trent, you just spent all of that time grinding all of the paint off and then you just went and painted the tubes right where you're gonna weld. What are you doing? So this is actually weld through primer. So this is something that will coat and cover the metal. You can weld through it and it doesn't like pit your welds and you know, make them gross and weak, but it makes it so that the tubes aren't gonna rust. And uh, I can basically paint the insides or the, the upside down portions of our truss here. Then after everything's welded on and done, I can go ahead and paint everything. But these are spots that like I won't be able to paint once the truss is installed. So that's the purpose of this. I've never used it before, so hopefully it's not a bad idea. So we gave our uh, parts that got the weld through primer a little bit of time to dry. They are nice and dry now. I'm gonna go ahead and test fit this, make sure everything is good. We'll tack it on. That is such a snug fit. Like it was made for it. Can't go anywhere except for right there. You don't <laughs> even have to worry about like trying to fit it in in the exact right spot. It like only goes in one spot and it's perfect. <laughs>
Okay, so I've got everything fully welded except for this little diamond shape up here at top and that's what I'm gonna hit right now, but I am pretty impressed. The uh, weld through primer doesn't seem to be messing with the welds at all and everything that's underneath there that I can't paint later is now protected from the elements and it's not gonna rust. Maybe I'll start using weld through primer more frequently. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hit this little diamond shape, get the last welds up there on the top, and then, uh, yeah, this thing might be ready to get underneath the truck and start mocking up suspension. All right, well, that was pretty easy. The truss is now fully welded on. All right, guys, I think that is probably gonna do it for us today on Trent's Garage. By the time that axle cools, it's gonna be too late into the day for us to start doing anything else. But I think hopefully in the next episode or two, we're gonna start getting these axles underneath the frame, start mocking up the suspension, cutting links, getting things set up. But before I do that, I do need to do some homework because setting up suspension and four links and all that stuff is definitely out of my wheelhouse and I'm gonna have to do it on the front and on the back. And I have some kits that should make it easy, but there's still some, you know, modification that has to happen with those kits. So it's going to be a stretch, but uh, we're going to give it the good old college try. If you guys enjoyed coming along on today's adventure, make sure you show me by giving a big thumbs up on today's video. Consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you guys on the next one.